Well, it's well, nice to be back. It, it's lovely to be back. It's very nice to be back. I had a lovely Easter. And then straight back into serious controversy. Serious controversy. I mean, Rylan... Oh, my God. He, I mean, it's totally and utterly his fault that the chase has been axed. He's personally... Rylan Clark has personally axed the chase. And it's not even just like a professional thing. I mean, he came into our dressing room this morning. He hates Bradley Walsh. Yeah, can't I bear mean, him. Like that, how much he just hates him so much, talking about it all the time. But you wouldn't have thought, you know, like a personal th dislike like that could actually lead to you cancelling the guy's show. I know. The power it's like he has. ripping the rug out from <gasps> underneath him. We need to be really careful around Ryland from now on, you know. Before you know it. Before you know he'll it. He'll have a show on and then we'll be gone. <gasps> right. Watch Rylan. So we should explain. <laughs> There's the pause. Now that we've just put a load of petrol onto the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And burned those flames. Yeah, all over the mail online now. <laughs> uh, so the, the, uh, the chase always takes uh, a month off every year. It has always happened. That's why I think that's Paul O'Grady did his chat show in there. Yeah, that's but true. for whatever reason, this time, uh, the, the, the chase fans have decided that um, it was <laughs> Ryland's fault. Uh, he's got his new show, Babushka, which he's going to do that month. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's not Ryland's fault. I mean, he's, he's doing a show that he's gone into that slot, which is always available once In fact, a year. last year, it was A Thousand Heartbeats with Vernon. Yeah, they, they came didn't in. Go, they didn't they go, didn't go Vernon. Vernon has axed the chase. <laughs> but it made it, was. it made it very funny, the fact that it's now Ryland that's axed the chase. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just keep to that story. That's much more fun. Because he hates Bradley. <laughs> Shocked. I think that's got to be the best bit of the show. It's not often that we are utterly dumbstruck. Duped, Phil. Duped. Duped. By Kieran Richardson. We knew him back in the day of Dancing on Ice. We've known him for such a long time and he comes in on our sofa and he lies. Well, the thing is that we had no clue that this had happened. The other day he came in, he did an interview at Hollyoaks, yeah. and a big storyline on Hollyoaks. It made it look like he'd let something slip. About the hands around the neck. But he could be really, he was... Uh, and then on, on air, he was mortified and, and thought he'd let, you know, he'd let too much slip. Uh, and then as we finished, he, he left the studio, he was still acting he mortified. He stood in the corner of the room for ages just shaking his head going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, am I in trouble, am I in trouble, am I in trouble? And we're going, no, it doesn't matter. Seriously, it wasn't, it, you know, it could be, uh, either way, you know, it doesn't matter. You're not giving too much away, thinking, oh no, all a dupe. <gasps> and he's Shaky. got busted because Sharon Marshall told us. Don't tell Sharon Marshall anything, because she'll tell us. He took a video, apparently there is a video now of him in his dressing yeah. room before the show with yeah. a clock saying, I'm about to uh, yeah. dupe Philip and Holly. Well, you've been busted now, haven't you, Kieran? Big time, big, big time, time busted. <laughs> but well done, by the way. So yeah, for best good. acting. Well done, very well good, very good. <laughs> best bit for a Wednesday. Well... I quite enjoyed today uh, are with um, Liz Earle, who came along to teach us all about probiotics and looking after your You made me cut. eat it. I did. You made I did. me eat it. But you know why? Because you literally will eat anything. Yes, true. I will and try anything And so I knew if I said once. it, you'd also have to. <laughs> and it did just not look like kefir, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is like a kind of curdled... I thought it was cheese. a lime leaf. I thought they were kefir lime know, leaves. No. I didn't know that it was actually a gloopy, goaty, barley, fermented, uh, sicky-tasting... Uh, Gloop. I mean, you, you are very. She did say, bad. "Don't eat it," and it's in that form. Um, you it, said, "Do eat it." Uh, so it tasted nice when it was in its long drinky thing. And you can put it with honey. I don't know why we didn't, but you could put it with honey and, yeah, yeah. and that sweetens it, it up sweeter. a little bit. But I, I'm fascinated by all that stuff. I believe in. You know how sceptical I am yeah. about most of this stuff. But, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but probiotics, good on the inside, feel good on the outside. And it, and once we had a taste, it's hard to suck up a straw though. As you discovered, it was thick, you get it? yourself a little hose. You did need to suck it up a much wider straw because that was hard. That, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I put in my cheeks. I thought, uh, you know, I don't know that I've got the strength to get this up, but I did. <laughs> in the end, I did. Thankfully, you did very well. Talk about having the strength to get things up. <laughs> oh, God. Best bit for a Thursday. Well, I'm going to go for what started off as a slightly awkward moment. It was a bit awkward. When we discovered... it's always I love cookery on the show. It's like one of my favourite items we do. And it's always like a, 
Oh no, when there's something on the script we, we, which you don't like to eat. And today, it was custard tart. But for both of us, actually, because custard tart And that tart never for happens because you eat everything. Yeah, but, but I mean, I would, I would always eat it, uh, which is fine, but I'm not a greatest fan of, like, obvious eggs. And you're not a fan of custard. No. So we had a bit of a problem here, and then that led to a bit of a fracas with Phil Vickery. And then after the fracas with Phil Vickery, then we had to uh, we, we had to link into the loose women, and um, and that that the wheels came right off. Well, that, that was one. not my fault. I'm not I'm not well, responsible said for that. I'm not, I read it. You said it. I read though. it. <laughs> if it's there, I'll read it. <laughs> oh, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so but... yes, I got into trouble then. And then it all turned out rather lovely. Oh, my goodness me. No wonder he won Pastry Chef no, of the Year. it was really good. It wasn't so much custard as a kind of vanilla... It tasted, to me, it tasted like the best vanilla ice cream you can ever, ever eat when it gets slightly warmed on the edge of a pie and you go, oh. Mm. Ah, yeah, that's, that's what it was like. Very, very good description. That's exactly what it was like. And I'm seeing my dad on Sunday and I'm actually going to make it because it's my dad's favourite, and I thought that was easy. So there you go. So from starting this morning going, Bleh! we're talking about mogies and we're going to eat mogies. <laughs> you haven't even explained what that is. If anyone didn't see the show today, you've thrown well, in you the whole thing. Well, you should have been watching, quite frankly, shouldn't you? <laughs> it's on ITV Player. Yeah, we do. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. I'm not talking about that again. Boom. Anyway, custard tarts are good.